Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was writing in my lab notebook with a pen, remembering to put the date on my entries. Now that you're here, I'd love to tell you a little bit about my research. I'm Joe Trapani in the biology department and neuroscience program at Amherst College. And I go by Joe or Professor Trapani, as you feel comfortable. Uh, I use he, him, his pronouns, and I've been at the college for about 10 years. I started in 2011. Primarily, my research is focused on the zebrafish uh, sensory system and learning how external stimuli like sounds or sense other sensory information is transformed into meaningful neuronal information that the brain can then interpret for things like behaviors or especially for reflexes. The, um, the primary focus of our research at the current moment is understanding the um, properties behind hair cells, which are the sensory receptors that are used in our ears for understanding auditory information and vestibular information, like our sense of balance or acceleration. In the fish, they have a third sensory system called the lateral line, which uses hair cells to detect water motion around the body. And we're curious about how different intensity of stimuli or the pattern of stimulation, and maybe it's repeated and does the system habituate to it, how those kinds of um, different inputs are transformed by the hair cell and the neurons that make contact to it and how it might um, turn into a meaningful code of information that the fish then can interpret and either swim away from a predator or know to not swim away perhaps if it's feeding or mating. <clears throat> I'll include some pictures in the video right around here so that you can see an example of the kinds of equipment we use in the lab. And also here's a link to another video I recorded where I give a tour of the lab so you can see uh, the different aspects of our research program. Outside of the lab, I have a family, um, a wife and two kids, Emmeline and Isabel, who's seven and four, and we have a dog, Sage, and we often have chickens, though um, we also live in the woods and predators are often lowering our chicken numbers. I like to ride a mountain bike. I like to do other outdoor activities. I'm recently learning to play guitar, and I really like taking apart old stereos and fixing them and restoring them, and also speakers and record players. I teach animal physiology, which is a bio 260. I also teach neurophysiology, which is an advanced laboratory course, and it's cross-listed in the neuroscience program as well. Um, outside of animal physiology and neurophysiology, I have an advanced seminar called Seminar in Physiology, and we look real closely at some historic papers in the field of, um, of electrophysiology as it pertains to understanding how neurons function. And then we do a deep dive into more modern research and learn a little bit about modern tools for understanding synapses and synaptic physiology. And the whole course culminates in a poster where students have an opportunity to both look at the research and the life and um, work of a underrepresented scientist that's somehow less represented in the field in a way that's meaningful to the student. And we often take those posters and either have a poster presentation or turn them into Wikipedia entries. And we almost always also share them with the scientists themselves. And it's a great opportunity for students to work on outreach and, and learning how to communicate their science to others. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm missing a course. Maybe it'll come to me, but um, the, oh, um, Neurobiology, Bio 214. I, it's a relatively new course that spun off of an older course called Neuro 226. And I'm looking forward to rotating into Bio 214 as well. What I love teaching about Amherst, uh, I love the class size. I love the students. That's probably my most um, favorite part about the whole job is interacting with students, learning from students, mentoring students in and out of the classroom, the research laboratory and on campus. Um, currently my lab, I go back, I, I, the way that students come into my lab is from a number of different mechanisms, including submitting research interest on the biology webpage. Here's the link for the research interest page. I also often have students reach out to me directly and ask about opportunities. And I also find students through those that apply to the summer surf program or that become thesis students. And prior to that, they have not worked in my lab. And sometimes I haven't even known them. And then they start as thesis students, both in neuroscience and in biology. At the moment, I don't have any research openings, but that's also because it's late spring semester at the moment. You can see the spring sunlight coming in. 
And um, often by this point, the lab is more or less stable. And then we maybe have um, new students entering for summer and then again in the fall. And so it, it, it waxes and wanes and I encourage students at any point in time to reach out. Um, and at the end of this video, there'll be information on how to reach out, um, mostly just via email. That's one of the best ways to always contact me. A piece of advice that I might have for student scientists, well, one is always keep a lab notebook and use a pen and date your entries. And also to just be um, adventurous and curious in the lab. And for our lab, but I really think for all labs, one of the two most important things that go with lab research is to always be honest and always be kind. And if you enter into a lab with curiosity and kindness and curiosity that drives careful research and attention to detail, and that you're not afraid to ask questions and ask for help from others. I'm still asking help, and I imagine I'll be asking for help from colleagues and students and other folks I know, both at Amherst and elsewhere, uh, as part of doing science, and I'll be doing it for a very long time, I'm sure. And other than that, I just wish you all the best in your research adventures. Uh, one of the best ways that you can learn about research is often just through your classes and taking laboratory courses and being curious in those as well. And certainly reach out if you have questions and best of luck with the rest of this semester and all those to come. Take care.